Exercise 1.6 deals with the word problems. Let us take the first one. There is an auditorium with 35 rows of seats. There are 20 seats in the first row, 22 seats in the second row, 24 in the third, and so on. Find the number of seats in the 25th row. So over here the auditorium has 35 rows of seats. But this 35, this number 35 has nothing to do with the actual question. So we shall ignore this. So let's say the first row has 20 seats, the second row has 22 seats, the third one has 24 seats, and so on. So you need to find how many seats are there in the 25th row. In other words, you need to find what is term number 25. So what information do we have at hand? We know that the first number A is 20. We know the common difference is 22 minus 2, which is 2. 22 minus 20, which is 2. And we also know that number of uh, row is 25. Because we need to find T25. So T25 is equal to how much? So we shall use the formula for Tn. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. Therefore, t25 is equal to the value of a is 20. So 20 plus n is 25. So 25 minus 1 into 2. I'll just roll it down. Therefore, this is equal to 20 plus 24 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 20 plus 48 which is equal to 68. So there are 68 seats in the 25th row. This is the answer. We need to write it in words. The second question is, Babu Bhai borrows rupees 4000 and agrees to repay with a total interest of rupees 500 in 10 installments, each installment being less then the preceding installment by rupees 10. What should be the first installment and the last installment? So Babu Bhai has agreed that he will pay back the 4000 rupees that he had borrowed along with 500 interest. So he will be returning back 4500 rupees. So this is the total amount of money he is going to give back in 10 installments. So we can say that the sum of 10 installments is 4500. We understand this as follows. He is going to give some amount of money as the first installment, then some amount of money as the second, some as the some amount of money as the third, fourth, and so on. And when he gives the tenth installment, he will be returning back 4500, which is the principal and the interest. So he could easily give 450 rupees in each of the installments, but he is not, not doing so. Is not giving 450 rupees in each of the installments. Instead, maybe he'll start with I don't know what, but uh, let's say 500 rupees. Then in the next installment, he is going to give 10 rupees less. So maybe he'll be giving 490 rupees. The next installment he'll be giving 480 rupees, and so on. So when he completes the 10 installments, he'll be returning back 4,500 rupees. So our question is actually what will be his first installment? Is it actually 500 or something else? And not only that, what is his last installment, the tenth one? So this is the question. So we need to find A, which is the first installment, and we also need to find what is B, which is the last installment. So our question is find A and find the last installment T10, the last number. So the first thing that is given us, S10 is equal to 4000 plus 500 which is 4500. So of course the value of N is 10. What else is given? Is anything else given over here? Um, yeah, the common difference is minus 10 because the numbers are decreasing. Each installment being less than the previous installment by B10. We are also been told that D is equal to minus 10. 
So let us find what is A and then we will find what is the last number T10. To do so, we will use the formula for SN. SN is equal to N upon 2, 2A plus N minus 1 into T. So S10, because the value of N is 10, is equal to 10 upon 2 into 2A. We do not know what is A into 10 minus 1 into minus 10. The common difference is negative 10. S10 is 4500. Yeah. So 4500 is equal to 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. So 5 bracket open, 2a plus 9 multiplied by minus 10. We'll divide this 5 on the left hand side. So 4500 upon 5 is equal to 2a, 9 tensor is 90, plus and minus is minus. For the simplify it, 5 ones are 5, 5 nines are 45, followed by 2 zeros. So 900 is equal to 2a minus 90. So 900 plus 90 is equal to 2a. So 2a is 990. Therefore a is equal to 990 upon 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8, 1 carry, 2 nines are 18, 1 carry, 2 fives are 10. So a is equal to 495. So I initially guess that you could start with 500 rupees was much close. In fact, it starts with 495 rupees. And now we shall find what is T10. In order to find that, we shall use the formula for Tn. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1D. So T10 is equal to 495, the number that we just got plus 10 minus 1 into the common difference is negative 10. So it's equal to 495 plus 9 into minus 10, which is equal to 495 minus 90, which is equal to 405. So this 495 is his first installment, 405 is the last installment. Thanks for watching.